A new PlayStation patent is revealed that features a never before seen mechanic. Plus, PlayStation announces a partnership with Discord. How will this affect voice communications on the platform in the future? And Xbox loses a big exclusive to the PlayStation 5. All this and much, much more in today's edition of the Saltiest PlayStation News Report. Let's get into it. What's up, PlayStation Nation? Happy Monday and welcome to the saltiest PlayStation News Report. The first story today is a new patent for PlayStation. Did you guys ever watch the game show back in the day, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, where contestants could phone a friend if they got stuck? Well, there's a new PlayStation patent that is kind of similar to that. This new PlayStation patent would allow players to call on experts in certain game genres, asking them for help and tips in real time. The new patent, which was spotted by V. GC, shout out to them, shows Sony's plans to implement the idea and how it would play out in an actual game. Players would need to qualify as experts for certain games or genres and register with the promise of game content, exclusive items and quests, or extra trophies. These experts would then be able to mark themselves as available for them to be called upon. Players would be able to then request help from their console or mobile app with that request being sent to the experts who are available at that time. Sony did describes the process of matching players as like hailing an Uber. Experts would be provided with info about the player's session, such as build, quest details, levels, loadout information, and more. I'm going to pull up the images from the patent. You can see how this would work out. In one image, it offers tips on how to beat a boss. Another highlights a specific button combination, but provides a combo attack in the game. This advice can be provided in text, voice, or video form, and an expert can also embed pages from the web, mobile device, or their own console. Sony even floats the idea of recording sessions which would be given to players based on how helpful they were. Just like any other patent I talk about on this channel, you need to take this with a massive grain of salt because a lot of patents are filed and some of them never see the light of day. This is very intriguing to me because PlayStation 5 already has videos that are posted below certain trophies that will help you achieve those trophies. So that's already implemented in the PlayStation 5's UI. What's also important to note here is PlayStation 5's DualSense has a built-in microphone so that in itself is helpful because not all players have headphones or a good mic and they could just talk or speak from the microphone that's built into the controller and receive help honestly one of the things that i can see as an impediment for this is vetting these so-called experts in games and why would people want to do this in the first place it would have to have some kind of a motivation for these experts and gamers to sign up and to use their time to help other people now you would just think that it'd be easy to get people to help other people but honestly time is money and if these people aren't getting paid for their time I don't know a lot of people that would be willing to spend a lot of time to do this unless the incentives were high so again it's up to Sony to create enough incentives to get people to sign up to provide these expert tips and walkthroughs but what do you guys think of this patent and would you guys become an expert yourself let's talk about it in other news PlayStation has announced that it has partnered with discord service to become integrated with Sony's consoles from early next year year, Sony has announced that it's partnered with the chat service Discord, which is incredibly popular, not only with PC gamers, but gamers around the world. It was announced that Microsoft was trying to buy them for over $10 billion, but that fell through. This announcement was made on the Sony Interactive Entertainment blog, and this partnership is already being worked on so that your Discord social experiences can be connected to your PlayStation Network gaming experiences. The target for this integration is early 2022 right now in the system and services including friends communities and groups will be available on both consoles and mobile the reason why this partnership went down is because sony is a minority investor into discord and this is their official statement from our very first conversation with co-founders jason citron and stan vishnevsky i was inspired by their lifelong love for gaming and our team shared passion to help bring friends and communities together in new ways empowering players to create communities and enjoyed shared gaming experiences 
at the heart of what we do. So we are beyond excited to start this journey with one of the world's most popular communication services. It's always a privilege to work with great partners to bring fresh experiences to our fans, and we'll have more to share in the coming months. So the biggest question that I have, is this going to be voice communication? That's the biggest question. Xbox, like I said, tried to buy Discord, and this seems to be a response to that. Sony is kind of getting in there, whether getting's good, teaming up with Discord and integrating their services. I just got to know, is this going to be voice communication? Because this is something that I've wanted for a very long time. Integration with Discord, not just on the PC side, but on the console side would be huge. It would open up a million types of possibilities. I players and gamers that I play with on the PC side. And because of crossplay, you're able to play with those players. But what are the hindrances when playing with those players is voice communication. If I have a friend that's playing on PC and we're playing Call of Duty together, he has to jump into a PlayStation party for us to talk. And that's just inconvenient. If Discord voice communication was built into the UI on the PlayStation 5, I could jump into a Discord and we could play a game together and it would just be amazing. Xbox already has some integration with Discord when it comes to what games you're playing. You can see what kind of games people are playing if they link their Xbox accounts. So it might just be that. It might be your trophies are connected, the games you're playing, and community features and stuff like that. But I hope that's not the case. I hope they go full Monty and go voice communication as well. But what do you guys think of this partnership? Do you think it will extend into the voice communication section? Let's talk about it. In other news, Xbox is losing one of their so-called exclusives. Stalker 2 was announced as an Xbox exclusive. And originally it was said that there wasn't a PlayStation 5 version of the game in the works. That was the response of the developer when asked. If you guys aren't familiar with what Stalker 2 is, it's a unique blend of FPS, immersive sim, and horror with a really thick atmosphere. One of the biggest open worlds to date is yours to explore. This is coming from the website itself. So new information has been released and the platforms that Stalker 2 is going to be released on is first on the PC and the Xbox Series X as console launch exclusives. This exclusivity will only extend for three months and then it will release on other platforms. This isn't to say that it will immediately come out after that three month mark is over. But if I was a betting man, I would guess this game is going to be released on the PlayStation 5 platform within six months of launch. Personally, I've never played Stalker. I'm not familiar with the series. Apparently it first came out in 2008. I like first person shooters and I like horror games and this is a combination of both. So more than likely if it, it gets good reviews, I might pick it up on the PlayStation 5, who knows? But I think that this is good news for the PlayStation 5 and its gamers. You're gonna be getting another game that was quote unquote an exclusive for Xbox, but it's going to go to the PlayStation 5 platform at a later date. What do you guys think of Stalker as a franchise? Stalker 2, are you gonna pick it up now that it's been announced it's going to the PlayStation 5 platform? Let's talk about it. But that's it for today's edition of the Saltiest PlayStation News Report. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all things PlayStation 5. If you guys want to get more information when it comes to PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 news, check out this playlist here. Or you can check out the Saltiest Gaming Podcast playlist where we talk about all things gaming, PlayStation, and Xbox. It's a great time. That's it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.